So congratulations. I have with me Dr. Devitha Nellani. She has scored a very good rank, 77 in this INSCT May 2024. And I will let her speak now. She has joined DAMS, I think, uh, one year uh, uh, course in back-to-back uh, -back basics uh, of uh, online. And uh, I will let her speak. Many congratulations to you, Devita. Please tell me about yourself. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I am Devita Nilani uh, from Tanjavur Medical College, Tamil Nadu. I have scored 77 in Unicef 824. I am a back to basics student. All right. So when did you finish your MBBS? I think May 2000, in 2023. And the last one year you were preparing for okay. the exam. Okay. So what was the experience of this uh, online? And why didn't you choose uh, offline? Sir, actually I am a slow reader. Uh, just I can't look for like 8 hours continuously to study. Uh, yeah, that's my, uh, so I took back to basics online class. Uh, so I, I just put, uh, so that I can work, I can study according to my schedule. Uh, that's the big advantage of online classes, I yeah. think. Um, yeah. So what? Back to basics over uh, offline classes. Okay. So in that back-to-back uh, -back online classes, uh, were you giving the tests also, like grand tests and all? Yes, sir. Like uh, I didn't give a tip at the start. I used to give some subject wise this at the start once I complete my subjects. But after finishing like some eight subjects, eight to nine majors, uh, eight to nine subjects, I started giving GPs. Okay. So did you make your own notes along with the while uh, making the seeing the videos? You were making your own notes, right? Yes, sir. I made my own notes. And those are the things you I keep on revising again and again. Yes, sir. I revised only the for the whole one year. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that has helped me a lot. Revision is, is the biggest strategy like that every student should have. I think. So when when did you start giving grant tests? Uh, I started in November after the last year. Okay, what November was the rank? Uh, I think just just tell me about yourself. Uh, what was the rank in uh, when you just gave the first exam, NEET uh, 2023 and INICD in November? Okay. Yeah, I gave uh, me 2023. My rank was like 60,000. 60, okay. And INICD uh, in November? 5,000. 5,000? 5,000, sir. So, so that's yeah. a very great improvement and that is one learning from everyone that don't get disheartened if you get a rank like this. Slowly, slowly, it will not be a magic that one day you will get this rank and next day you will get a, a two-digit rank. Slowly, slowly, you have a prime example in front of you from Dr. Devata. She has slowly, slowly progressed. And now I will ask her about a grand test. How many number of correct questions when she gave the first grand test in November? How many questions she was getting correct at that time? And then what was the strategy in the grand test? How she improved? So let us know about the grand test. Yeah. So how many number of correct questions were there on the first time? So my first test was in November. The number of correct questions is 88. And uh, it removed just like step by step, I uh, include each and every question. Like, I think the slowest pace was between 120 and 130. I cannot improve after it. It was the toughest pace during those uh, GTs. Then it, the, it went from 130 to 140. So, so from 80, 80, you, 80 was the first. From 80 and slowly, slowly, you, you got, and your, every GT, you were improving a lot, right? With each GT. Because in the meantime, you were. Uh, revising your notes and uh, seeing the yeah. videos so what was your strategy because online thing is a very different strategy from an offline one so please tell me about the online strategy you were doing subject wise or you doing the for example one disease and seeing that from every video what was the strategy tell me which subject you choose to study first yeah, and later? because it is your schedule yeah. because everything was available to you at one go Sir, I just divided all the nine, 19 subjects like in an integrated manner, like I finished anatomy first. Okay. And I started with ops and surgery. Okay. Because those two subjects were related with anatomy. So I finished those three subjects first. Okay. And then started with like small, uh, physiology. Uh, no, physiology, I read it, read it with medicine. Along with medicine, I read, it, read the Excellent. physiology and yep. the pharmacology part. Uh, then uh, complete. I, I used to complete these uh, short subjects in between major subjects like hospital, ENT. I used to complete it in between these short subjects, and I divided medicine into systems. 
a cardiovascular system, neurology. I used to divide it, and I used to read medicine, physiology, pharmacology. Those uh, three subjects along. I used to make notes: uh, physiology, medicine, and pharmacology for each and every system. Like if I complete cardiovascular system and the endocrinology, I will keep a short subject in between, like an ospital or an ENT. I used yeah. to keep like that. Correct. And then so that I I don't get fed up because I am in the same room for the past one year in my in my house, so I don't get fed up if I keep a short subject in between. Yeah, that was my strategy. I like I like I like reading, and um, it was conceptual. The exams is completely conceptual. I think at last you don't remember anything on this on the day of exam. What helps you is the concept. Concept only really helps you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tell me about the. Other the simulated subjects like the computer based exam. So did you did you give the CBTs as well? No, sir. I didn't give CBTs. I just gave the GTs on app. Okay, GTs on app. And uh, what about the last uh, one month? What was you focusing on the last one month? Your own notes or some short things like DBT or INICT PYQs or something? Yeah, I used DBT for revision, sir. My aim was to complete the revision within the last fifteen days. Uh, that was the last uh, last uh, lab, so I completed all the subjects within fifteen days, so that it would help me. Uh, on my exam was a nineteen, so on eighteen I used to revise those volatile topics like scores and classifications. So those important things I revised it on the last day. Yeah. Okay. And what about the previous year uh, topics and questions? Yeah, uh, previous year topics are uh, like I had given the questions before and revised those questions in the last uh, one and a half month. Okay. How many questions did you attempt this uh, time in the main exam? One ninety-five. One ninety-five. And how many you think you got correct from recall errors or approximately? Um, from the recall, I got like a one forty. One forty correct. One forty. Uh, recall may not be all the uh, correct things, but still approximately one forty to one fifty correct questions. Uh, okay. You must be correct. So approximately about seventy percent if you reduce uh, negatives. So that is that is of course uh, a very good score. Always, uh, even I was taking an interview from uh, I mean just before you, and he all got the 96 rank. He also said the same thing, 190 plus, and he got 140, 50 corrects. And uh, we calculated it was about 60 by 70 percent. And I was remembering my time also. In my time also, 65 percent above in INICT was uh, I mean considered to be a good uh, score. So which branch are you aiming for? Sir, I like medicine and pediatrics. Okay, and are you going to give the NEET exam as well? Ah, uh, you should give. I won't. I think. Now you are stress free. You should give. Yes, yes, yes. Why not? I mean, there is no, there is no harm in giving. I mean, you are stress free now. You have a secured rank. Ah, uh, your voice is on mute now. Your voice is on mute. Did you hear? Ah, yeah. So now you are stress free. I mean, okay. yeah, now it's okay. Now it's okay. Now the thing is, no, it's a choice whether to give or not. <laughs> of course, you will get medicine, of course. But uh, the point which I'm making is, when you are absolutely stress-free, that will improve your performance to much higher extent. So maybe you can get a single-digit rank in it <laughs> if you study. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I know it's difficult after getting a rank, such a good rank. But still, just think for yourself. that uh, okay. if by if if you get a uh, uh, similar rank in need you will have a lot of choices which choices you can have confusion as well but still <laughs> it's just one month <laughs> okay now i would like to to ask that during the online class uh, any any teachers any uh, any subjects particularly you would like to uh, uh, remember now uh, which Which now you remember at that time and in the exam the same words were reflecting on your mind that yes this was uh, uh, in the video and this was the question which is asked or something like that and do you remember right now any any teacher any subject like that? Um, I like all uh, guy Aditi Hans read. Uh, I can remember everything, but uh, for me all the questions are very easy this time. I got everything correct in that. Okay. Um, and. A special mention to Tisha Sir for the critics. I like his classes very much. Uh, I like how he teaches. Right. Uh, I think in the last block, in the last block of uh, Insert GT, the three questions were based on the same concepts. 
uh, they were asking about the fame of that chair and they gave like three questions that they claimed on the basis of the age. One was on 29 years and other two things were 75 years but male and female. All the three questions, they have the same concept but we have to know the concept for that. So I think I got those three questions correct because of Kesha Sikhmati. That's, that's good, that's good. He has a nice way of... Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, uh, then I like hostel classes very much. I didn't revise any other uh, notes other than yours. I revised... No, you say, you don't... You can ask... I like this, sir. I like this. Just talk to me. Just stay frankly. You can talk about the other subjects, not me. I like pediatrics. Pediatrics is my favorite subject from my fourth year. Uh, I like first class very much. Um, then oxygen, radiology. Radiology was like an integration of every subject. But <laughs> my favorite was oxygen and uh, purple. All right, good, good, good. Nice, nice. Uh, many congratulations. Are you the first okay, doctor in your family? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Many congratulations. You are writing for medicine yes, and sir. pediatrics now, no? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, any particular college you think in 77 which you eye for? I think in Ames, yeah. Delhi it might be slightly difficult, uh, but pediatrics still there are some chances. So I'm going to take my student sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jipmer, you can get medicine, uh, right? Yes, sir. Uh, then you now you need not study uh, for neat exam then. <laughs> Again, you're on mute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Now, many, many congratulations uh, to your you. family and best wishes from uh, all of us. I hope uh, if you give neat exam, just let us know again because definitely you're going to score there as well. But if not, then heartiest congratulations and I hope you'll get you, for uh, medicine or pediatrics. Best wishes. Uh, you, congratulations again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.